Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques to make some amazing Excel dashboards. All right, today uh, we're going to answer our Friday challenge. Um, now, you may have this as a uh, something you'd like to do uh, regardless of the challenge. And so here was the problem. Uh, the user wanted to remove these gaps or this white space within their 2D clustered column chart. So for subject one, they did not have all 10 data series. They only had certain ones that were showing up and they just didn't want these uh, empty teeth or empty spaces or gaps showing up. Subject three had all 10. They wanted to keep the color format the same so that the same series uh, represented the same color in other um, ones that you see here so that you can still see, okay, blue is my series seven, whatever that might be, and I can match that up to that blue, same blue and kind of compare and contrast. But I just want to shrink up all the white space, get rid of these gaps. Now, this is kind of tricky because uh, um, what you end up having is to rearrange your data in such a way that you ultimately get this chart over here. So here's where we have subject one, we have three subseries uh, that are showing up and all of our colors are still matching just like the other chart, but our gaps are gone. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, so I have copied the data set over here into another spreadsheet and here's what you want to do. So I am going to go ahead and actually cut and paste this over into another section. So I'm going to cut it all the way over here on the right of my screen and we'll toggle back and forth so that you can see that. Um, Alright, so let's start with subject three. This is going to be the easiest way to see how you're going to have to line up this data. I'm going to copy series one through ten. So I'm going to do control C. I'm going to come over to uh, the B column or C column and I'm going to do a special paste. So Alt E special and my paste special comes up and I am going to transpose these and place them there. So now you have series 1 through 10 here up above. Now um, we're going to do some different grouping levels for our chart. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the first one which is subject 3. So I'm going to come down here somewhere about here and paste subject 3. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the spacers up above for uh, uh, subject 2 and also subject 1. Now I may not may not get it exactly right, but um, we'll be able to fool around with that a little bit as well. All right, so for subject three, what I want to do is come and copy all 10 series names because these are going to be um, sub points uh, that are going to show up there. Oops, it's kind of showing up in our way. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Um, all right, so we've got series one through 10 because they have all of the different data points. Looks like I needed to go to column C, so I'm going to delete this. We don't really need that extra space in there. And what I want to do is copy this data down. So I'm going to copy subject 3 and put it over in column C. So this is our data for subject 3 for each series. Now what I need to do to create the uh, remove the gaps in my chart um, is I need to go ahead and uh, intersperse these along these series lines that you see up above. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a control X and a control V and kind of move them along and you can sort of see where we're going with this as I'm putting one per column and that's how you need to do your data layout. And so let's just finish this off. Control V, Control X, Control V. Now once I have this setup done, uh, we can you know always create dynamic formulas to go ahead and create this setup for us. Uh, but this is to show you how to remove those gaps. So let's go ahead and do subject one. Now subject one had series three, four, and seven. So I'm just gonna copy this information over here, oops, uh, into the column B and it was three, four, and seven. So I'm gonna move seven up and we're gonna move subject two down a little bit. I wanna create some gaps or some spaces in here. Now three in series five was, or series three was five. So series three was a five and series four was a two. So I'm gonna put two there and series seven was a seven. All right, so that has, now we've created our subject one. Um, now we just need to go in here and it looks like I might need to add a space. Let's see if we have to do that. Subject two has series one through series six. So I'm just gonna paste it. Oops, too much data. Uh, it looks like one and three, and then we also need series six. 
I am going to have to move these down just a little bit. Let me copy series six in here as well. Uh, and so I'm going to have to create a set of uh, two more rows in here. So let me just go ahead and quickly insert that. Move subject three down a little bit. And we're going to move series one down as well. All right, so uh, subject two, series one was a one. And series three was a four. And series six was a two. So we're going to do that. Now you'll notice um, three matches up with three, four matches up with four, and so on. So now we have our data all set up. So I should be able to come in here and just highlight this information right here. And so you'll notice I'm just starting at subject one. This is going to be a padding space. We're going to have a padding space before subject two, um, and so on. And I should just be able to go up and do an insert a 2D column chart and do there it is so let's go ahead and take a look at that now um, make it a little bit bigger so that you can sort of see the data labels um, in a better format there we go um, now I'm just gonna pick any one of these and hit control 1 and in control 1 I can go over and change my series overlap to as high as it'll go and my gap width to as low as it'll go um, and lo and behold, with our new way that we have created our data, we have some padding on the front and back of subject one, some padding on front and back of subject two. We can erase those if we like. And then series 10 has all of the different data points. Our colors are unique, so series seven follows with series seven over here. Uh, and uh, Pete on my site has created some awesome array formulas too. Uh, that as you modify this data, it, you can use those as a basis to create this chart um, just by uh, modifying his chart. So once again, um, what you want to do is just modify your data layout and such that your series three matches up with series three in a columnar format. And when you go about and create your chart, you don't do not need to include this one up here in A. All you have to do is highlight from subject one and it will create the chart for you. So hope this is helpful in being able to remove the gaps that you uh, don't want to show when you do not have every, every series populated and get rid of that white space in your Excel 2D column chart. Once again, this is Steve equals true. Please visit my blog at Excel dashboard templates.com. Also, don't forget to sign up as a subscriber to my video channel so that you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.